In this video, you will learn how the PureLink Microbiome DNA Purification Kit allows you to isolate DNA that accurately reflects the diverse microbes in the community sampled. In this case, stool. Stool is the most challenging sample type. However, the kit has protocols for a wide range of biological samples, including urine, saliva, swabs, transport media, microbial culture, and soil. This video will provide an outline of stool microbial DNA isolation, plus some tips and tricks. The online manual describes the protocol in detail. Since some microbes have very thick cell walls, efficient lysis of all microbes present is an important first step. A combination of heat, chemical, and mechanical disruption with specialized beads will get the job done. First, add 0.2 grams of the stool sample and 600 microliters of lysis buffer to the bead tube. Vortex until the sample is thoroughly dispersed in the liquid. Add 100 microliters of lysis enhancer and briefly vortex. Incubate the sample at 65 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Homogenize the sample by bead beading for 10 minutes. Adjust the vortex mixer speed to maximum. Following a 5-minute centrifugation at 14,000 G, transfer up to 400 microliters of the supernatant to a clean microcentrifuge tube. Now, add 250 microliters of cleanup buffer and vortex immediately to ensure even dispersion. This step eliminates inhibitors of downstream analysis, like bile, bilirubin, digested food, and humic acids. Following a two-minute centrifugation at 14,000 G, transfer up to 500 microliters of the supernatant to a clean microcentrifuge tube, avoiding the pellet and any debris. Now, you'll bind DNA to the column. First, add 900 microliters of binding buffer and vortex briefly. Load 700 microliters of the sample mixture into a spin column and tube assembly and centrifuge at 14,000 G. Discard the flow through and repeat. To wash the DNA, place the spin column in a clean collection tube and add 500 microliters of wash buffer. then centrifuge for one minute. Discard the flow through and centrifuge again for 30 seconds at 14,000 G. This will ensure removal of the wash buffer, which could interfere with downstream applications. Now you'll elute the DNA by placing the spin column in a clean tube, adding 100 microliters of elution buffer and leaving at room temperature for one minute. Centrifuge for one minute at 14,000 G and discard the column. Your purified DNA is in the tube and ready for immediate use or storage.